Hey guys, and <clears throat> welcome to another episode of my Fixing Character Categories. Now this is part 4, we're mainly going to be focusing on costumes, but I've taken in the criticisms of my character categories, and I've taken them into account, mainly Spring King's criticisms, and I've pretty much just uh, changed a few things, I've tweaked a few things, added a new category or two, uh, taken some of his ideas into account. I don't agree with all of them, there's some things I just disagree, like for example putting Frink's dad in the Frink family, because he's a Treehouse of Horror character, I kind of don't think that makes sense, because with that logic we'd have to put Hugo in the Simpsons extended family, by, by that logic, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, th there's just a few things I disagree with, but a few things I agree with, so I'm just going to go in there and we're going to adjust accordingly. Obviously this one's the same, this one's the same, this one's the same, this one is the same, I believe. Someone asked about um, <clears throat> Canadian Flanders, but Canadian Flanders isn't actually a member of the Flanders family. Uh, he's meant to just be like a doppelganger of Flanders, uh, and he's not explicitly said to be a relative. Uh, I think they might have hinted at it in the quest line, but I don't know. I don't count it because it's not canon to the show. Uh, then we have the no has been a Pentalon family. That's the same. The Spuckler family, the same. Krostovsky family is the same. The Van Houten family is the same. The Lovejoy family, same. Sislak family, same. Wigan family, it's the same. The Quimby family is the same. The Hibbert family is the same. Uh, the Jailbird family, the Brockman family, the DiMacchio family, uh, Frink's family I have changed. I've added robot, uh, Frink's robot dog. Look, I'm like opposed to putting robots in the family members. For me, it's just like a step too far. I'm cool with putting pets, but robots feels a bit off. But seeing as he's a robot dog, I think I'll let it off the hook. I'll say fine. I'll make an exception for the robot dog because it is a dog, right? Uh, so I'll, I'll throw that in there. I'm not putting the love button here though because A, that's in a future episode. So I, I to me, it just doesn't count. And B, like, um, I don't know. I don't really... Is Frank married to it? It's just weird to me putting that in the, in the Frank family. McElberry family is the same. Twilliger family. Uh, Simpsons pets. No one seemed to be bothered about that. Simpsons Ancestors. I think that one's fine. The future Simpsons family members. I added the Newton Rabbit. I don't know. This one's like really debatable. And I was like <clears throat> a little hesitant to add the Mutant Rabbit. Because it's like meant to be, I guess, like the son of Bart technically. Because it uses his DNA. So I guess you could make that exception. But like he doesn't show up in the regular future episodes. He shows up in the future armor episode. Which is a bit like, you know... It's a bit iffy for me, but fine. I'll, I'll leave it in the future Simpsons family members. I guess it kind of makes sense. Younger Simpsons is the same. Future Simpsons, the same. Uh, younger Springfielders, I've kept the same. Uh, future Springfielders. I've added Mecha Hawk. It is meant to be like a future version of Stephen Hawking. And I guess you can consider him a Springfielder. Uh, so, yeah, whatever. I chucked it into future Springfielders. There you have it. Uh, oh, oh god. Um, this one is the same. Um, I believe this is the same for stu school students. The Super Friends is the same. University students, obviously the same. Filthy Rich, happy enough with that. Plant Workers, uh, Civil Servants, yep. The Law Enforcement, I'm happy enough with this one. Um, I don't know, I wish there was just one more Bounty Hunter so we could have a Bounty Hunter uh, category, but there you have it. Uh, doctors, business owners, I hate this category, if I'm going to be honest with you, business owners to me is, uh, I'm not too keen on it, because, I don't know, it's so broad, but we'll keep that the same for now, I know that there was the, uh, like, adult dancers, and I kind of like that, but I don't know if, for me, Belle doesn't fit there, because she's not a dancer herself, she just owns the place, and then, so, I don't know if you could put her in there, I don't know, so, for me, it was just a bit odd. Restaurant workers, look, I'm, I'm sticking with Wally Weasel in here, I don't care. Uh, alcohol entrepreneurs, I've changed this a little bit, still got these two, and Harv Bannister, and obviously, Maurice, but I've got bartenders as a separate category with these four characters, that way, I can have Titania and Colette in a category with more than just those two, so, yeah. I think that works. Duff Beer. I like this one. I think this one works quite well. So we've got Duff Man, uh, Howard K. Duff, and Mexican Duff Man. That's a new one. Comic Store Couples is the same. Job Jumpers. I've kept this one. Fortune Tellers. Itchy and Scratchy. Exec creators and Executives. I think that one's fine. The Chris of the Clan Show. Legal Eagles. Yeah. Uh, Wise Guys. I think this one's fine. Authors. 
nah, it's it's not great, but it it works for now. Uh, news and radio personality. Um, yeah, this one works. Sporty sports. Look, I know that people don't like uh, Spring King. Didn't like this one either. I'm keeping it for now. Um, I just think it's a more concise way of fitting in uh, the summer games guy. Because at the end of the day, I could have a separate category for the summer games and have um, Springy in there and uh, Fatov in there, and that's doable. But they are like fictional mascots that aren't actually alive, so I just find it odd combining the two. It comes down to personal preference, really. If you would prefer them to be in a separate Summer Games category, that's cool. Uh, for me, it's just a bit bit odd. I just want to be as consistent as possible, is all. Uh, wrestlers, obviously. Musicians, there you have it. Sunglazers, young musicians, rappers. Performers, uh, look, yeah, I think stage performers would work as well. Obviously, these guys are all stage performers in their own right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it works. Dancers, obviously. So we could have, like I said, we could have adult dancers with uh, her and obviously Nelson's mom. That's doable again. But my issue with that is Belle doesn't really fit in there for me. And Nelson's mom, ideally they'll add Eddie Munt soon. So that category will end up just having Princess Kashmir in it. So for me, that's like, eh, that's why I haven't quite... But I do actually like that idea. It is cool. Uh, celebrities, uh, actors... TV's finest. I know the, hit, the the kid isn't exactly a part of the TV, but I, I didn't know where else to put him. It was really hard. And I guess, like, he does appear briefly on the TV, so I figured, yeah, screw it. He'll just show it in there. He'll throw him in there. Uh, helpful guest stars. Uh, Holy Encounters. Criminals. Uh, it's the same. Environmental lovers. Mascots. Yeah, obviously I've removed a Duffman from this and Mexican Duffman. And then we have sporty mascots. I like the sporty mascots for me. And if I take fat off and spring out of it, it, it just leaves these two. It's not as good. I like it if they get more precise. And, you know, these are all sporty mascots. So I think it, for me, that works more so than the Summer Games uh, separate category. Boardwalk performers, obviously. Itching Scratchy Land. Uh, Krusty Land mascots. The survivalists. This one is fine. Uh, presidential types. I'm fine with this one. Uh, founders. Yeah, religious figureheads. I like this one a lot. I think this one's cool. Secret agents. Secret villains. Uh, someone mentioned Hollis Hubert. He's like, it's not really a villain. I, I can see where you're coming from, but just because he kind of comes across as like well-intentioned at first, only to become like a villain. I know that he kind of is good by the end, but he, in that sense, he is a secret villain. But I can understand if you don't agree with him being in there. Uh... I think, to be honest, he could just go in civil servants, right? I don't know, is the historical uh, society, is that like a private organisation or is that a government organisation? Uh, that's a, I wonder. If anyone knows, please do let me know because I guess if it's a government organisation, he could just go into civil servants. That works. Uh, kids. These are kids that, that don't go to Springfield Elementary. Babies. Teenagers. Bullies. Moms. Yeah, I, I don't like this one. I would like these characters to quickly get the hell out of of, um, of this category and, and get into their family categories. But we need to obviously have Mar um, we need to obviously have Martin's father, Nelson's father, and Skinner's father. A lot of fathers missing. Oldies. Yeah, fine with that. Babysitters. This is a new one. Um, yeah, I know that Lucille could go into criminals, and I get that. But she is a babysitter as well, and I wanted to have a babysitter category to have, you know, this. So, for me, whatever, this works. I'm fine with this, because her profession is both criminal and babysitter. So, I think it makes sense. You know, you can pick one of the two. Barflies. Oddballs. This is the one that I hate, because it's just the characters I have to throw in here. Uh, the ones that I couldn't put anywhere else. Stonecutters. Animals. Birds. Snakes. Prehistoric pests. Dinosaurs. Uh, swashbucklers, wild westers, uh, yeah, I'm happy enough to just, I've obviously moved Connie Appleseed, tourists and sightseers, concert attendees, imaginary characters, I like, I don't like imaginary characters, because I, again, a lot of characters could go in here, but I didn't really have anywhere else to put any of these other characters, so, there you have it, leprechauns, robots, this one's changed a bit, I've taken a few out, uh, we got funzos, obviously, uh, romance robots. I've added Chum just because Chum and Martin seem to have like a relationship in the future episodes. So I was like, I'll oh, screw it. I'll just chuck him into the. Uh, 
I'll chuck him into romance robots. He could go into the prince family, I guess, but for me, it kind of draws a line. Maybe, maybe I'll just chuck him in there. Who knows? I guess I'll ask. If 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 three people say yes, Chump should go in the Chump should go in the prince family. I'll do it. I'm not like happy about it, but sure, why not? I've already made the exception for uh, for French robot dog. So I guess if you give an inch, you got to give a mile. Uh, cyborgs. Uh, TV TV characters. Yes, I've put the Battle Seizure robot. I completely forgot that, yeah, technically he is a TV character. I think there might have been another one I've missed, actually. I might have forgot. But, yeah, technically the Battle Seizure robot is a TV character, so that makes sense. So he goes into the TV characters. Uh, superheroes. Uh, there you have it. Super villains. Itchy and Scratchy Show. Video game characters. Uh, did I throw? I think I was meant to put someone else in here. Oof. Have I forgot? I think there was someone I was meant to throw in video game characters, and I forgot. Um, oh, right, yeah. I was meant to throw uh, the Bone Storm guy. Captain Bone Storm. He is meant to go in here. I forgot to do that. Harpoon Heart. Pretty good. Uh, Alcha, Al the Angelica Button World. The Santa's Workshop. The festive Performers. Yeah, so this guy was meant... Bone Storm Santa was meant to go into the uh, video game characters, so I apologize for that. Um, yeah, Annual Gift Man and the... Raccoon, go into Festival Pests. Cold Creeps. Oh, this guy was meant to go into video game characters as well. But Cold Creeps would just have Deep Freeze, King Winter, and Jack Frost. I, I knew there was something I forgot to do, okay? <laughs> uh, deities. Yeah, so you have all the gods. So you have God, Buddha, Yahweh, Mayan God, um, Shiva, Shiva, and uh, Jesus Christ. Bible characters, King Herod. Yeah, those ones. Angels. The, um, Gautama and Friends. Gautama? Gautama and Friends. Yeah. It's just a way to get Marquess, Millhouse, and, uh, Advisor Frank in there, really. Tall Tales. This was Spring King's suggestion. I like this one. I think this one actually works. So you've got Paul Bunyan and Connie Appleseed. And you can chuck in other characters in there, too. So you could obviously chuck in the Hulk Is it Huckleberry Finn? The third segment? You could throw those characters in there as well. Treehouse, Treehouse Terrors, I hate this category. I wish I could break it down further, but these are just the ones I couldn't fit into any of the categories, so there you have it. Spooky Animals, Rigelians. Yeah, these are just spooky animals. Rigelians, these are aliens, or, or people from Rigel 7. Uh, evil, shale, evil Sales Makers, uh, Springwarts, School of Magicry, Vampires, Werewolves, Mummies and Egyptian Pests, Witches, Sentient Adverts, Mutants. I've included Gelatinous Homer because he technically is a mutant. The Jelly Monster is technically a mutant as well. I'll take that. Hugo is a mutant. Blinky is a mutant. And this is a giant Screamer Pillar, so I count it as a mutant. Uh, bird Mutants. So this is separate for the Birdie Mutants. So we've got Big Claw, the Bunny, the Peacock, and Octoparrot. I like the fact that we can break this further down. Twilliga Mutants. Uh, I did like the idea of... Spring King had an idea of food mutants. That, to me, was kind of cool as well. But it was just this category with the donut thing. And I don't know, the donut model isn't really a mutant. So, I was like, eh. I, I decided against it in the end of the day. But Twilliger Mutants, I think, is fine. That one works. Aliens. Yeah, so we got the Space Mutant, which is debatable if you go into mutants or aliens. But I'm going to go with Alien. You got... And then the Blog and the Ethereal Beings. Ghosts. Uh, we got, obviously, all the ghosts here. Zombies. Uh, Beasts and Trolls. I think I've changed this one. Who knows? Uh, Castle Equalia. Equ Equalia. Uh, this was another one I took from Spring King. This one actually was quite good. So it obviously has all the imaginary Castle uh, Equalia uh, characters in it. So yeah, I like that one. Dragons. Then just has these two. Uh, Public Domain Menaces. Tree Sentience. Hell Dwellers. Mad Doctor Hibbert's Island. Alternative Simpsons. And then that's it. So the Homer doppelgangers has gone. I've got rid of that category. And I've put the characters in other categories. So I'm, I don't know. I'm happy with the changes. Obviously, I do need to change that video game one as well. But apart from that, that's my new updated list after taking the things. I just disagreed with some of the things. But he had some really good ideas. So my <clears throat> solution to costumes is this, okay? And there's going to be a separate category, right? So we've got our character collection, and there's going to be where next to the little, uh, you know, the little character collection thing that has the little golden statue of Homer or whatever. There's going to be a golden uh, clothes hanger, right? And when you click that, it's going to bring up 
all the costumes. Now, I don't want to have a... I don't want to have the costumes in the character collection. To me, that doesn't make sense because they're not characters, they're costumes. So instead, they're going to be in a separate costume collection. So you click the little, you know, you'll click your little coat hanger that's next to the character collection and it opens up your costume collection. And then in the costume collection, there will be a big scroll wheel like you have in the character collection. But instead of, instead of categories, it's just going to have characters. So... You, the first one would obviously be Homer's. So you click this, and then boom, it, it brings up Homer's costumes. And it, yes, it will have this one in particular will have to be a very very big scroll wheel. But you'll scroll across, and you can see all of cost Homer's costumes. Okay, so I've included every single one on this big list here. They, I had to bunch them up a bit, but obviously got Barbarian Homer, Camera Hat Homer, Monorail Homer, Cool Homer. Uh, Cowboy Homer, Deep Space Homer, Donut Homer, Fireman Homer, uh, blah, 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 blah. Holiday Homer, Ice Cream Man Homer, uh, King Size Homer, Mayan Homer, Mr. Plow, Ninja Homer, uh, Number, whatever it was, uh, Patriot Homer, Pie Man, uh, Pin Pal Homer, what's this, Pride Homer, Hom Pride Homer, I think, Referee Homer, Robin Hood Homer, Santa Homer, uh, Sunday... Sunday morning Homer and strongman Homer. Okay, so that's what all it will be. It will just be you click Homer, boo, and then scroll across. Now I could break all the costumes into categories, but why bother? Why bother? It doesn't to me. It doesn't make sense. Breaking them all into categories, different categories, is way more effort and makes it just confusing. Just make it simple, right? Make it simple. So if I want to see if I've got all the Homer costumes, I can know easily. I click Homer, boom. There's all of his costumes. To me, this just sounds like a way more, uh, just sounds like a, a much easier way of going about it. I don't know about you. You can tell me your thoughts, but to break them down into separate categories, yes, it could be cool to have like a stonecutter's category with all the stonecutter costumes in it. Sure, maybe that would would miss out on that, and that would be a bit, you know, oh, that would be a bit sad. We'll miss out on a, a stonecutter category, but I don't really give a shit that much. To me, like having a stonecutter category is would be cool. Uh, the only other thing I can think of is maybe if they, there's a way for you to sort it, so it sorts into both categories and also both into just characters. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I much prefer this way. I just think it works out better. Or maybe, I don't know. Yeah, no. Uh, no, I'm, I'm sticking with it. I think this way it just works out better. Uh, Lisa costumes. So we have Archer Lisa, uh, Cadet Lisa, Clubber Girl, Cool Lisa, Elf Lisa, uh, Filmmaker Lisa, Jim, Jim Lisa, whatever it's called, Jake Boyman, Lisa Fur, uh, Little Miss Springfield Lisa, uh, Lizard Queen Lisa, Collect, Pin Collector Lisa, I don't know what this one was called, um, is it Programmer Lisa or something like that, Queen Helvetica, uh, Raven, Raven Crow Never Smiles, Sacagawea, uh, Saxophone Lisa, uh, Sideshow Lisa, yeah, Soccer Lisa, and Tree Hugger Lisa. So again, you just click, boom, Lisa, and you scroll across. And look, uh, I'll probably just add this real quick. Yes, they could add separate categories, but the thing is, right, if they add like separate categories as well, where are you going to put half these costumes? To me, it just seems, um, yeah, it seems silly. So it's just going to be a, a thing. So you click Lisa, and you see all of the costumes. Then we have, obviously, you have Bart. So you have Bartman, um, Beasel Bart. Casino Bart, Moog Bart, or Clockwork Bart, whatever it's called. And it's Clockwork Bart, isn't it? Cyborg Bart, Daredevil Bart, Elf Bart, uh, General Bart, General Splatten, Goblin Bart, Jockey Bart, Camp Bart, uh, Rappin Bart, I don't know what it's called. Shadow Knight, uh, the Stretch Dude, Test Subject Bart, the Kid With No Name, I think, TikTok Simpson, and Wizard Bart. So, yeah, to me, that just works out easier. Well, I swear there's a Wizard Lisa. Have I forgot a Wizard Lisa? Is there a Wizard Lisa? I swear there is. I think I might miss that. Oops. Oops, a daisy. Oh, well. <laughs> That's a bit awkward. Marge's costumes. So, obviously, we have Bionaut Marge, Elf Marge, oh, sorry, Cleric Marge, uh, the, what's this called? Glamazon Marge, Witch Marge, Mayan Marge, Muscular Marge, Sexy Center Marge, um, Tennis Marge, and Sorcerer Marge, Witch Marge, I don't even remember what that was. Yeah, Marge's costumes. Maggie's costumes, again, same thing. Battle, ba battling, 
battling bouncy baby, whatever it's called. The uh, this one, Outlands Maggie, Prairie Maggie, and the Christmas Tree Star Maggie. Yeah, and then you click Grandpa, and you have all the grandpas. Count Grandpa, uh, the the this one, Hellfish one, a gorgeous Grandpa. That was it. Honest Abe, uh, Hellfish Abe, number whatever it is, the Rambler, and Torador Grandpa. Let me know if I forgot any costumes because I need to make a list. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's a. I'm pretty confident there's a Wizard Lisa. It's definitely not on here. I don't know how I missed that. I went through the whole thing. I don't know. We all make mistakes. Uh, Flanders costume. So again, you click Flanders. So you got Devil Flanders. Um, was it Pagan? Uh, not Pagan. Um, what's the word? Puritan Flanders? Is that it? Uh, Santa Flanders. Shirtless Flanders? I forget what this is. <laughs> what this one's called, man. Uh, super stupid sexy Flanders and uh, werewolf Flanders. Arpu costume. So you click Arpu. Uh, you got American, the American one. You got Fireman Arpu, and you got the Pin Pals Arpu. Uh, Cletus's costumes. Yep, yeah, we're gonna have a few of these where there's only one costume. So you click Cletus, and you only have Manager Cletus in there. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, but hey. At the end of the day, I'd rather it just be easy and you know easy to find all the other all the different costumes. Krusty's costumes. So you have uh, the the clown guy, the fox thing, the 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 Krusty craft, whatever it is. Uh, Krusty the Christian, his number, whatever it is. Opera Krusty and Tuxedo Krusty. Millhouse's costumes. You got cool Millhouse, fit Millhouse, Italian Millhouse, lady Millhouse. A wench millhouse, whatever it's called. Uh, magic act millhouse. Radioactive man millhouse. Fallout boy millhouse. And werewolf millhouse, I think. Yeah, millhouse's costumes. Kirk's costumes is just going to have Akon Kirk. Again, yes, I realise it's annoying, but that's how it's got to be, sadly. For me, uh, I just think this way is just a lot easier. Luan's costumes, same thing. Moe's costumes, you have Emperor Moe. Uh, Fireman Moe. Moog Moe. Number whatever it is, Mo. <laughs> Pim Pal Mo. Uh, where is where? What is this one called? And then um, Surgeon Mo. Wiggum's Wiggum's family. Oh God, no! This meant to be Wiggum's costumes. Wiggum's costumes. We got the Beerstein one, Mummy Wiggum, and number whatever. Ralph's costumes. You got Ballet Ralph, the Christmas Tree Ralph, and Elf Ralph. Quimby's costumes just has this stone cutter one. Doctor Hibbert's one just has you know. Uh, uh, Kwanzaa, Dr. Hibbert, Mad Dr. Hibbert, and his Stone Court costume. Snake's costumes, you've got Cyborg Snake, and you've got the Outlaw Snake. Kent's costumes, you've just got his costume, his Stone Court costume. Frank's ones, you've got Stone Court, and you've got Sorcerer Frank. Uh, Bob's costumes, you've got his Opera one, and you've got Wes Dubna. Her teenage Homer's costumes, I hate the fact that we have to have our Teenage Homer's costumes, but we have Prom Night Homer here. Uh, Skinner's costumes, uh, we have Skinner, um... Whatever this one's called, Longshot Skinner, I think. Fireman Skinner, Longshot Skinner, the Stone Cutter Skinner, and Pharaoh Skinner. Willie's costumes, we've got Bare Chested Willie, uh, the Stone Cutter one, Sato Willie, uh, Slave Laborer Willie, and Taskmaker Willie. Otto's costumes, we've got his Conductor Otto and Rockin Otto. Charmer's costumes, we've just got Mecha Charmers. Uh, Nelson's costumes, we've got uh, Football Nelson, Pirate Nelson, and Smell You Later. For Martin's costumes, we've got Ice Princess Mil uh, Martin, and we've got Wizard Martin. For Burns costumes, we've got quite a lot. So we've got, obviously, the vampire one. Um, Count Burns, is it called? Ebenezer Screws Burns. We've got Fruit Batman Burns. The Geriatric Park Burns. Hellfish Air Burns. The Monkey Suit Chest, whatever it's called. The uh, New God Mr. Burns. The Stone Cutter Burns. Pin Pal Burns. Recluse Burns. Softball Burns. UBO. Uh, Water Baron Burns. And Ice... Pr Princess Burns, is it? Smithers costumes. We've got obviously the mysterious Waylon, uh, the his stone cutters costume, and we have his roller skate one. Lenny's costumes, Carl's costumes, just their stone cut ones. Hoover's costumes. <laughs> this is gonna be forever just one costume, but there you have it. The only thing, other thing I can think of is people who just have one costume. They could bunch them all up, uh, but I don't know. To me, it's like. You may as well at that point just have separate ones. But Hoover's costumes. Obviously, we have uh, Undercover Hoover. Disco Stew's costumes. Comic Book Guy's costumes. So we have Festive CBG. We have Kung Fu Comic Book Guy. And we have The Collector. 
Kamikyo's costumes, we have Sailor Kamikyo. Uh, for Milo's costumes, we have the... Um, God, what was it called? The Detonator? Oh, no. Like, that was the, the character that they ripped off. Whatever it was called. The Master. Um, the Game Master. Squeaky Voice Teen costumes, we have the Attendant and the Peasant. Mole Man's costumes, we've got Iron, Iron Lung. Lindsay's costumes, we just got Prepper and Lindsay and Eagle. Arnie's costumes, we just got his Stone Cold one. Tatum's costumes, just his boxing Dragic Tatum. Miss Springfield costumes, we got her hostess Miss Springfield. For Wolfcastle's costumes, we just got Miss McBain. For Booberella's costumes, we just got Cave Girl Booberella. For Duffman's costumes, we just got Lady Macduff. Oh, Lady Macduff? I think that's what it's called. Uh, Barbarian costume, Barbarian's costumes, we've just got Homer Barbarian for Barbarian Homer. For Scorpio's costumes, we've just got his evil mastermind costume. For Jasper's costume, we've just got his, this one, I forget what it's called actually, is it tennis? And um, his stone cut one. Barney, we've just got Deep Space Barney and obviously King um, Plow King. For the Crazy Cat Lady, we've actually got two, which is kind of weird. We've got the... Uh, Crazy, a crazy, crazy iguana lady and a Mrs. Claus one, whatever it's called. Kang's costumes, we've got Pirate Kang and Santa Kang. Kodos's, we've got Mrs. Claus Kodos and we've got Fairy Kodos. And, oh, that's it. That is every single costume. So, apart from maybe one of two I may have missed. I think I've just missed that wizard one, I hopefully. But yeah, anyway, that is it. That is my big list. That's how I think they should do it. That's my solution. If you find it wrong, that's cool, fair enough. The only other thing I can think of is like with the stone, because the only thing that like kind of bugs me a little bit is the stone cutters, because it was kind of cool to have all the stone cutters in one category. But I'm willing to sacrifice that just to have this system, because to me this is just way easier. So if I want to know if I've got all the, you know, Homer costumes, I just quickly click on Homer and I can see all of his costumes, right? And yeah, sure, we won't know. You know, we won't have a big collection of all the stone cutter costumes, and that's fine. I don't know. You can just oh god, you can just scroll through and you can figure it out. <laughs> you know, it won't be that hard. Or you can go to the wiki and figure it out. But yeah, that is my solution to the costumes. So tell me what you think is a better solution. Um, you're gonna have to hard change my mind because I was considering putting them all in categories and I stopped halfway because I had a big think about it and I was like no this doesn't make sense just putting them in like separate in, in the separate characters to me just makes makes way more sense so tell me your thoughts and I shall see you in the next video where we will probably well we won't be doing this again this is the end of this uh, series I'll probably update this again in like a year probably around this time next year I'll do the character uh, collection once more and we can maybe go through a few things but yeah that is my solution and my fixes to the character collection so tell me your thoughts what do you think and i shall see you in the next simpsons type video goodbye